guys, what's going on? Kyle Kruger here, and today I have a special guest. Hi, I'm Nathan. So Nathan has a blog called The Bangarang Blog, and it's like fashion and working out and everything, and we're gonna add hair to the list too. Nathan cuts his own hair. I do cut my own hair, because I don't trust anyone. Especially no. you. <laughs> so we're doing a new segment today called Kitchen Cuts. Because we're in my kitchen. I'm gonna teach Nathan the basics of doing an at-home haircut and the tricks of the trade. Yeah, and you know what's gonna happen then? I'm okay. gonna cut his hair. So then we're gonna let Nathan practice what I taught him on my hair. I'm sorry, you're all gonna hate me. <laughs> we're gonna see I'm how gonna good ruin that his is. pretty head. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna let Nathan cut my hair and see how he does. So I'm just gonna like cross my fingers. Okay, guys, let's get started. When you're at home, you want to take off your blouse, but it's a classy channel here, so we're just gonna put a cape on instead. Because you know we don't like taking our shirts off. <laughs> um, okay, so the first thing I would do if I was at home cutting my own hair is it makes it a lot easier if you section off the hair in different quadrants. So you can use like a little clip and I like to do it right on the parietal ridge where there's a high recession. Okay, so I just like kind of like push that longer hair away. Now this is like the way that I do it. So it's not necessarily right or wrong or anything. It's just what I do. So you can do that or you can do it yourself or okay. Do it this way. I'm not like an educator. The hair graduates normally in a haircut like this. You gotta usually leave this hair long up here and a little bit shorter down towards the perimeter because it looks more expensive that way. If you shave your hair all the way to the top, like right here, I just feel like it looks like you did it at home. It might be easier to start with the, like, the longer guard on your clippers and then work your way down to shorter. So we're gonna do it like that. Okay, so I have my longest have guard on there, pink. A pink guard. Good. Just for you. Yeah. Okay. Really accentuate my masculinity. I start, I normally start in the back. Of course so, you do. Yeah. I kind of do like a C shape. So my clipper is going like this. Yeah, little that's exactly how right? I do it. When you're cutting, you want to have like it be a little bit longer as that's you go up, yeah. right? So you're kind of pulling away from the hair like Yep. That. Good. So that's what I do. So far I'm doing okay. Oh, good. Yeah. So my worst experience, I, I, it's a recent thing. I moved into a new house and I always cut my hair in the shower. My first time cutting my hair in my new place, I didn't really anticipate the new dimensions of my shower. I turned and my arm hit the shower head and whoop! <laughs> and I had a big patch up here that was... Because I do fade it slightly sometimes. Yeah. So it went from being like, what should have been a 4 at the top, to a 2 at the top. Whoa. Um, I don't know. I sent progress photos to my friends. They had a good giggle at it. I have a pretty harsh line around his head. And I created this line by making my clipper shape like a C as I cut. Am I supposed to stay still? Or get really close to the camera? <laughs> <laughs> and now, now that I have like my weight line that I'm gonna take care of later, I'm gonna go down in length. The hair gets shorter the closer we get to the perimeter of the hairline. Okay. Hi. So we're halfway through a haircut and I look like a unicorn. <laughs> but like a kind of limp, lame unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> I had a new clip, it's black, and we dropped down to a new size. This is a level one. So now I'm gonna just kind of fade up with my C shape and just like shorten this here a little bit. <laughs> you know I am fashion now. <laughs> okay, so the haircut is looking okay. It's a little bit shorter towards the perimeter and we still have like a little bit of like a weight line right here that we're going to try to get rid of a little bit later. do actually compliment me on my hair. They do? Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> what other compliments do you get on your Instagram page? Uh, I, I don't know what a compliment sometimes because I don't understand some of the lingo. The trouble of being a heterosexual. <laughs> with, a, with a big gay following. Yeah. My following is so supportive and so lovely. But sometimes I think it just goes over my head. Like they call me daddy, and, <laughs> and I don't I don't know what that means. Is it because oh uh, I'm old? Basically, dad is a term of endearment. I think it's like it's like a nice thing to say. You know, we need your guys' help. We need help from the millennials. That's what we need. So if you're watching this video, comment below and tell Nathan and I what dad actually means when someone calls you dad. Because yeah. I get that a lot too. Maybe they're insulting us. We just have no idea. <laughs> Maybe. Look at these dads. <laughs> they look so old. Old, daggy, unfunny <laughs> dicks. Oh. I have my last clip on. It's the smallest one. And we're just going to clean up right around the hairline just to make it a little bit shorter. 
So now I have no guard on my clipper and I'm just gonna go around the hairline and clean up all the hairs on his neck and like clean up all the hairs that kind of hang over the ear or anything like that that's left just to give it a nice polished look. And we have this weight line that just sits right here because I use that C shape to create the look that we wanted. But I usually take the comb and I pull out the hair and the hair that hangs over. Hey, we, we, we can't do this with a roommate. I can do it myself. Why could I not do this myself? You could, I guess. I mean, there's a mirror. Yeah. I see it looks pretty good. Our kitchen cut is pretty complete, just the sides at least. And now I'm gonna blow dry and clean them up a little bit and that's it. Okay. And now let's see if Nathan can use what I taught him to do my hair. Are you ready? Nope. There we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you do it, right? Just like that. <laughs> We're going up in a C motion. Because <laughs> I listened. You're doing so good. You can see what you're up to back there. <laughs> I can save it. I don't know if I want you to save it. Head forward, please. <laughs> okay, so checking in from the mobile cam. I feel like his head's looking all right. Yeah? Um, I mean, what do you guys, what do you guys got, think? We've got weight here, yeah. which I'm going to use thinning for, but like you said you want to keep a bit of weight at the top there so your head doesn't flatten out. I feel like it looks pretty good. You've got a very, you've got a very strong line here. I can't really see. All right, so I feel like I'm going okay so far, but while Kyle's there and he can't see, I thought I'd give you guys a little sneak peek and see where we're at. So there's less of a, there's still a little bit of a line there. But you're doing. I feel like you're doing a good job. He hasn't seen him actually shaving my initials on the back. So <laughs> don't tell him. Shh. Whoa. Okay, guys, how does it look? You don't look handsome, but <laughs> you look like you could walk out in public and people wouldn't say anything. Okay, that's a start. No, I like it. I it's your first. <laughs> I mean, I haven't touched the top. It's all back and sides, but I feel like I've, I've learned a bit more how to fade. Um, look at your face. <laughs> okay, guys. So thanks for tuning in today, and Nathan, thank you so much for cutting my hair. It's a pleasure. So make sure you follow Nathan on Instagram at is Nathan. I'll put the links down below. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter too at Kyle for Your Hair. And subscribe to the channel and like this video and comment and tell us what you think. And what daddy means. And we'll see you guys soon. We love you. Bye guys. See ya. <laughs> Does this look good? I really like what we've done. It looks good. <laughs>